I'm on an island right now, and I'm gonna be spending the night trapped here. For context, this is the island. The only way to get there is by traveling through a mile of lake in pretty inconvenient windy conditions. While I'm there, my crew and I are gonna have to build fire, find camp, make dinner, and survive the entire night. And the worst part is, it's in Oklahoma. Wait, so you're saying we're not alone? So here's how we're doing this. My crew of five people, me, Isaac, Luke, Drake, and Alex are driving to Lake Texoma, which is where the island is located. From there, we're each taking boats to get to the island with our own individual items to survive. Stuff like fire starters, shelter, sleeping bags, pillows, a bag of chips, a giant tent. We're not even on the island. We're already trying to kill each other. Okay, well, let's get ready to push this in. Y'all going in? We're headed right there, right? Happy sailing. Drowned. <laughs> I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. And so we cast off the first two of our group to head to the island. No! Ah! You can fit my backpack in there. Isaac, get the chips. No, we can. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Y'all aren't gonna sing. Happy trails! This is a terrible idea. Isaac! You want your wallet? No! Where would I buy on that island? <laughs> Isaac, you left your sandals! So after Alex, Drake, and I finished packing up our boats, we cast off and started our voyage towards the island. Ah, I'm on, I'm on sea now. I am, and I'm headed towards the island. It randomly cut off right there. Anyways, it was way too windy to fly my drone, so I'm just gonna use Google Maps to show the progress I was making to get there. I'm losing my mind out here, baby. I definitely am not holding my phone in my mouth on this adventure, but it's for the angle. <laughs> It's windy. Anyways, if I lose my grip, I'm gonna lose my phone. So, I'm gonna go, okay. Stay on the my phone ended up getting uh, covered in my own spit. Just thought you guys would like to know. Um, yeah. And after a long, slow, windy paddle to the island, I finally started to get closer. Come on, Layton, you can do it! Go! Definitely expecting Layton to put in Pirates of the Caribbean music. You know, if he doesn't, it's gonna be very awkward. Just me talking. Ah. Land ho! Ah. Is the blazers away? We made it, Layton. We're here. On the Just island. a reminder, this is where we are right now. So we got on the island, we made it. Yeah. It is time for us to find camp. Find where we're gonna sleep and like live and thrive. Hey guys, 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 guys. I think we need to celebrate. We all ate those in the car, by the yeah, way. I had like cookies. Three of those. Are you for real? You yeah. We had like multiple. Dang. Like, you know the Stop acting like you know the way, man. Like, you know Shut up! After docking the boats and gathering our stuff, we grouped together and realized we needed to find a camp away from the wind. I brought a stick to hold my weenie on and I forgot it. And I also forgot my lawn chair. Hey, I say we go into the into the woods. Your nipple is shut up about my nipple <laughs> being destroyed. Outside of the island. That's not attacked by the <gasps> Yeah, so we can build fire. What? There's a tire! Come get a tire with me, guys. I'm not. We gotta can we set go up. find camp? We came all the way out here. Struggled. Oh, driving. Falling. Taking the boat. And then look who wants to go see a tire? Me! But I guess in a way I'm thankful for Alex wanting to go admire the water pollution because whenever we walked on that side of the island, we realized something. There's no wind. Then the group decided to chase a bunch of geese up the hill, and when we got up there, we looked around and realized the island is much bigger than we thought. Check. Finding camp. What? Put that down, you idiot! Wow. Wow. Yeah. We're out here, dude. Gosh, it's oh so windy. Gosh, windy. What we have to do is we have to find a spot and then whenever we find the spot, go and get our kayaks and all our extra gear and then take it to our new site. Hey, hey there's Drake. Oh, and Alex. And Isaac. After the group had reunited, Luke decided he was gonna go off by himself to go find camp. The rest of us were gonna go back and gather our supplies. Look around the island, the edge of the island a bit. There is a really good spot right here where we can set up camp. It's not too windy. It's really like, overgrown and i know a lot of the boys don't have shoes so this may not be good for them i'm peeing you're peeing yeah to... oh my gosh ah! this oh. is not something i wanted to see gosh it's so windy out here 
I don't even know where Luke is. I don't know if he's alive. So I discovered that the overgrown tree I was talking about has a ladder. It's so desolate out here. It's just windy. Don't know where Alex and Isaac are, lost in the uh, island, and Drake and I are right here with our stuff. Then while Luke was voyaging, he called me and told me he thinks he found potentially the perfect spot, but there was a catch. In his words, there was a giant group of people on jet skis partying within eyes views of the campsite. What? Are you serious? Do they look drunk? Wait, so you're saying we're not alone? So the spot you found is not good, no bueno? You can't hear Luke, but he pretty much said not exactly. I think it's worth a shot. Maybe they'll leave. But before we pack up and hike all our stuff over there, I actually wanted to walk over there and check out the site for myself. Drake, can you stay here with our stuff? Yeah. Layton, when the heck did you get here? Uh, I ran. <laughs> did Luke tell you there are other people here? They are? Yeah. There are other people here. So I met up with Alex and Luke, and we made the journey over to this sandy spot that Luke found. I think we should try and make treasure chest. I'll pull your socks up. Loud. Hang on, y'all. By the way, I love Jurassic Park, and this entire time I felt like I was in Jurassic Park. I was just kind of waiting for someone on our team to get picked off by a velociraptor. Anyways, after hiking around the island for a super long time, we found the spot Luke was talking about. I think, I think this is an ideal spot. I think this is it. But before we hiked the entire team out here to spend the night, I wanted to get a glimpse of our neighbors. Oh yeah, they're having a bonfire. But the group over there looked like it was just five to six people that were just jet skiing, and they looked like they were my age, if not a little older or a little younger, so I didn't really care that much. So we went back to get our stuff. Why is this island so big? Drake is naked. Oh, oh. Took him an hour on this island, and he's naked. We're being bit by a whole bunch of horse flies over here. So he's putting up. We found camp. Then Isaac and I came up with a solid plan on how we're gonna get our stuff to the campsite. Over there. So yeah, we packed up and started heading over to the new campsite. We have to take all our stuff to the island, the spot that we will not leave from. We will be there for a long time, actually all night. We found our campsite. Uh, everyone's setting up their shelters. I'm gonna make a fire. Let's keep doing our work. <laughs> Gathering sticks. Oh, Minecraft? What are you talking about? What? Minecraft is based off of situations like this. This is the one that we're talking about. It's like we're in Minecraft. It is. Alex is like Alex. That's good. So who brought the matches? Me. So I started setting up the fire. Meanwhile, Alex, you're so attractive. Feel complimented. Then I started arranging kindling as Alex played flint and steel. Your butt! In the way. Caveman. Fire. We're civilized. But fire is pointless. How is Lane expecting to get the ladies when he can't start a fire? Then after gathering all the supplies, I lit the kindling that won't be and the fire got started. Wait, what if we use the flint and steel to light your match? Guys, hang on. Fire, I did it! All of that fire making made me thirsty. This Ken doll wannabe right here. That fire is hot. Oh, really? Fire! We're still struggling with the tent. No, Alex, no, we're this not trusting you. This is not complicated. We're not trusting you. We it's just, a tent. I you know have, it's a tent. So no. you know how to put up a tent? No, lay it down. We literally you just get tried the sticks. This. We tried it. You put the sticks in. Did not work. That's it. That's all you need. We they're right here. We just pulled them out. Them out. Why would you do that? Look what you did. Levi. <laughs> <laughs> Blame Levi. All right, it's through the metal ring. Drake. Oh! No way. Well, there's. Well, okay. Thank God, Layton is here. This is what I was gonna do from the start. <laughs> Why did this take you so long? Fire! I want to get in the water. No way you're getting in that water. You're not getting in the water. You're helping me set up my tent. And as Alex set up his tent by himself, you know, the tent that took up almost all of our boat space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That tent, he made a discovery. The frame's not in there. Why'd you make such a big tent? Because that's the only tent we have. I guess the stress of Alex's tent malfunction made me want to run directly into the water because that's literally what I did right after that. Is it cold? And we stared at the sunset. Three, two, one, go! This is why I came out here. The sun is setting, the water's, I mean, it's cold. Get some friends over there. Don't know what they're doing. Um. Hi! Rude. Oh! No! Ah! 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 Shut up! 
You shut up! Oh, no! We're having fun, but I think we're all pretty hungry. We want food. So how's the water? Cold. Okay. Two oh wieners on the fire. Really sketchy. If they fall in, it's done. But right now, they're just surrounded by heat. I didn't do that. Mine is really burnt. Uh, I burnt my sausages so bad I had to cook more. Because it's like so much up and so much down. Exactly. Yeah. True survival. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay, okay, right before the solo, I'm gonna pause it. He's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> Why are you so paranoid of bugs? Because they no, you didn't. Did you deal with the bu flies biting you? Darn it! I forgot toothpaste. Did you bring some? No. Good night. No, no, no. I'm serious. There's just gonna be a whole bunch of bugs. Coming. No. After all the struggle to get out here, Drake, was it worth it? <sighs> you know. Yeah, it was because everybody should experience this once in their life. This is my first time ever camping in a tent. It's crazy that sounds. I go hunting a lot, but I've never camped out in the tent. <laughs> okay. I don't think. Anyways, it yes, I do. I do think it was worth it. Meanwhile, this guy almost got lost in the woods to die going in the water. What? Am I pushing me in? Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh! 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 Look! Why'd you push me? <laughs> You're out of frame. That's so sandy. You got him. Oh yeah. I got so much sand in my nose after that. Okay guys, so we have eaten our food that we cooked on our fire and we're going to go to bed. All right, Clayton, you want to set up? Set up what? Our sleep. What? Yeah, I forgot to set up my hammock. What? What? We Don't move. Come, uh, oh, really? We'll or, do what to Twix? Or What's in here? What is this? That's Oops. rust. Drake, why did you bring a rusty can in here? I don't know. That's what I'm sleeping on. That's my island survival kit right there. Um, what's out here? Something good? Something yummy? Ow! Something like this? This is like the scene in the movie where the guy goes out too far and dies. What? Now I'm gonna actually get some sleep. Nice. Uh, it's been an eventful day. Literally getting this video put together took so long. So if you're interested, please subscribe. If you like my videos, subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram too. Anyways, I'm so tired. I will, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good night now. Can you confidently say that you slept on an island in a sleeping bag on the ground? Because I have. I did not sleep very good at all, but I did it. It was dumb not to set up my hammock. <sighs> It's really cloudy. Not really windy last night. It's not as windy now. Yeah, I think we're gonna stoke the fire, eat breakfast, and then we're out of here. We're all pretty tired. Oh, uh, still warm. There we go. I'm getting the bacon all situated. Brody. Anyways, very soon all the boys woke up. Isaac did his morning dance. Good morning, lady. Buenos dias. Look, make it. Happy right. Oh, jeez. Wow. That. That's fire. Yeah, now we just have a flaming pan. Problem solved. It's bacon time. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna rate Layton's bacon on a scale from one to 10. It's gonna be burnt. It's a solid eight. I like it burnt. It's good, very crispy. It's about as burnt as it gets. What? When did it catch on fire? Oh, you, oh, you got greased. Do y'all want, want bacon now? You're taking good stuff. 
Wow. Nice job. I was not expecting it to be like that. Mm. Ah, that's the one I was gonna get. Shut Good up. job, bro. Mm. Thank you. I'm so hungry. I might want an egg right now. I might want an egg right now. Delicious. I took scrambled egg. I think. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh! Anyways, after eating breakfast, we all collectively agreed we should start heading home because there was a storm headed our way, and that would be bad. So we started packing up our stuff, but there's always one thing I like to get done in the morning. I like to jump in a body of water. Also, I convinced Isaac to get in. The deal was, if Isaac got as deep as I was right now, I would buy him breakfast. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Land, force him! Oh no! Just do it! There you go. Okay, you're good. <laughs> I actually didn't buy him breakfast. I I bought him dinner. We just got in the water. Now we're packing up, putting everything in the boats. We're out of here. We're leaving. Uh, we're sending Alex away. Yep. How was the camping they trip, Alex? They kicked me off the island. It was actually pretty great. I slept very well. And we're sending off Drake. And in this moment, we were packing up and about to leave, I realized. After all the heavy lifting, the trial and efforts trying to get out to the island, find camp, make fire, we truly survived on this island. Drake and I both agree, when a zombie apocalypse happens, we're totally fleeing to this island. Considering how big of a step up this is from camping in my backyard, I'd say my team and I did a pretty good job. Whenever I put this canoe in the water, the challenge ends. Bye, Luke. Bye. Launch. Go, 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 go! Basically, yeah. Well, that was fun. Subscribe. Bye.